fight in Togo for the government to stop killing its own people, right. to stop the excessive use of violence, to stop the excessive abuse on the people of Togo, to free all the people that are taken into custody abusively. So we are calling upon the government to respect the constitution, to respect the rule of law, and to institute the democracy in Togo. So far must go! Enough is enough! Tell me about this protest today. Okay, my name is Kofi Dugbevi, and I am a member of North Togo North America, which is a civil uh, society organization. So the protest of today is organized exactly by North Togo North America to demand an end to 50 year plus regime, dictatorship regime in Togo. So we are out today, the Togo diaspora of Wisconsin are out today to march to ask for an alternation for an end of 50 year regime in Togo and for the institution of democracy and the respect of rule of law in Togo. So in Togo we have a family who uh, is in power for 50 years. The dad was there for 38 years and the son took over since 2005 and he's in for office now for 13 years. But he thinks that 13 years is not enough for him to, to go. He think he can rule more and more like his dad or even more than the, his dad and the Togo become a, a private property for those people. So we, the diaspora of Wisconsin of the United States, are saying no to that excessive uh, ruling. And they use excessive violence on the people of Togo. It is a military regime who use uh, very various abuses of Togolese people. And I'm going to be saying that the Department of State of the United States has called upon the regime at many occasions, in 2010 and also in 2017, in October 2017, and asked the regime to stop the use of force on its own people, to respect the right of people to protest freely, the right of people, the right, like the due process. The government should replace the due process. So this is a situation where the Togoli found it, uh, it, um, found themselves like in hostage in their own country. They don't have infrastructure, they don't have hospital that can, like acceptable condition. They don't have decency at work. They don't have acceptable school for the kids, for the children. It means that all their future are jeopardized by just one family, the Nyasing Bay family. And for that reason, the Togolese of Wisconsin are saying no to that excessive use of force. And we want to experiment what the United people, what the American people are experimenting. Freedom, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. So that's what the Togolese people are looking for. And that's why we are here marching for today. We understand that the Togolese people deserve freedom. They deserve democracy. They deserve to pursue the happiness they deserve. So we are calling today to end the 50 year dictatorship regime in Togo. We are calling for respect of the rule of law. We are calling for an end of a family business, for an end of a corrupt government. And we ask for the support of the United States to stand with the people of Togo. Enough is enough. Chers Togo, 